Hi, this is Jim Whitley from the world famous tool shed located at 1073 Main Street in Worcester. Hours this week are Wednesday through Saturday, 1 to 5. We can be found on the web at www.use-tools.com. Let's take a look at some of the stuff we have this week. I'm going to just glance over this and make my way to the back. The silence is deafening. All right. So we have a rigid tile saw. This is uh, $220. It's in very good shape. Comes with a tray, stand, the angled miter, and uh, the pump. Uh, shovel, uh, shingle shovel, 10 bucks. Some pliers, 250, 650 for the vice grip, 650 for the vice grips, 250 for the non vice grip, vice grip. Needle nose, dollar, dollar fifty, dollar fifty for the um, little nippers, two dollars on the larger. I don't know what the hell they are. Tools, the larger tool, three fifty for the adjustable wrench. Uh, body dolly, six bucks. Uh, planers, ninety dollars for Delta, twelve inch, missing the handle. We have 125 on a 12-inch uh, Delta uh, planer also. Bit sets, $8.50 on this guy, $12.50 on the impact set. Both of those are brand new. I took them out of the package. $11.50 on the drill press vise, 34-inch radial drill press, $150. Porter cable compressor, that is hundred and uh, no, actually, I think it's $90. Craftsman router table with a router. This is $90. Uh, staple gun, $15. A couple more pairs of the hearing protection from Browning. Those are $15 each. House jacks. Those are $30 each. This one over here is $35. $45 in the large vise. A couple other vices here. We have a stair step scribe. This is $35. DeWalt, uh, two batteries, one of them's kind of weak though. Uh, reciprocating saw, drill, uh, good battery, charger, and the driver, the driver's kind of weak also, 90 bucks for everything. We have a steel MS291, 20 inch bar, four extra blades, that's $240. Uh, Ryobi drill, one battery, charger, 20 bucks. We have uh, cabinet scrapers. This is eight fifty for the set. Rigid. Uh, what the hell do you call these things? Bolt cutters, twenty five dollars. Generator. This is one hundred and fifteen dollars. Works great. Looks like crap. Senko screw gun with two bins of screws. This is seventy dollars for it all. Forty dollars on the Ingersoll Rand half inch drive impact gun. Fifty five dollars on the uh, Ingersoll Rand nibbler. Snap-on puller set in the back, 150. We have a cable, a cable uh, splitter. This is 20 bucks. Uh, 27.50 on the Ingersoll Rand air hammer. A couple hatchets. There's a uh, four, five dollars for this guy and four dollars for the next guy. Uh, four dollars on the uh, small pair of dikes. Dollar on the pliers. Twenty dollars on the Makita drill. A uh, Craftsman drop light LED. This is twenty dollars. No, hold on, I gotta shut this damn thing off. Twenty dollars. There's a uh, Miller's Falls carving tool set that's twelve dollars and fifty cents. Underneath all this, there is a Craftsman um, socket ratchet set. This is fifty-five dollars. Makita two batteries, charger, screw gun. And the um, not the road, I guess uh, it's not a roto zip, it's because Makita, I don't know what the hell it's called. Rotary tool, $70 for it all. The batteries are probably worth $50, $60, $70. All right, $13.50 on the tamper. Engine hoist, this is $125. If you're looking to remove an engine this weekend, $250 on the 14 inch bandsaw. A couple ladders, $20 on the aluminum. And thirty dollars on the fiberglass. A few more things to go through. Twenty-two fifty on the very bright LED Husky light. Ten dollars on the Dewalt um, 
Oh, jeez, my mind is mush. Uh, $10 on the DeWalt hacksaw, $350 on the DeWalt tape measure. Stanley fiberglass hammer, uh, it's $4. $13.50 on the Klein Lyman pliers, $10 on the Irwin not channel lock channel locks. $8 on the Klein uh, wire strippers. Ingersoll Rand uh, half inch gun, $19.50. The Harbor Quick Connect Compression Tester, $17.50. $25 on the Hitachi Drill. Uh, $4 on the Craftsman uh, Wire Strippers. $20 on the aluminum um, 14 inch pipe wrench. Bosch Reciprocating Saw, $37.50. $8.50 on the Ram Set. And last, $35 on the five inch random orbit um, DeWalt sander. All right, uh, I don't know what I forgot. I probably forgot something, I'm sure I did. So again, uh, Wednesday through Saturday, one to five, and we will see you soon, thanks.